we are going to discuss here about the density of liquid so in order to measure the density of liquid one main or accurate method we are having of the density bottle this is a density bottle density bottle is actually a specially designed bottle which is used to determine the density of liquid in this density bottle here we are having a glass stopper and in the glass stopper here we are having a capillary tube so what is the function of this glass stopper and capillary tube i am going to discuss it, it with you also so in this density bottle you are going to fill the water till this till this properly you are going to with the till the neck you are going to fill the water into the density bottle actually density bottle came with the appropriate volume for example 25 ml density bottle is there 50 ml density bottle is there or any other readings of density bottle are also there fine so this exact volume of density bottle is there means in this for example this is 25 ml density bottle means in this 25 ml density bottle exact 25 ml of liquid only we are going to put if we will put extra volume into it or we will put extra liquid into it then that extra liquid will come out from this capillary tube action of is this capillary tube is what use of this capillary tube is what it will take all the extra liquid from the density bottle and it will throw out means in this density bottle only exact volume of liquid we can pour fine then afterwards from this density bottle we can easily see that yes 25 ml of liquid we have put means for the formula density is equals to mass over volume volume problem solved why because we know that in this density bottle obviously 25 ml of liquid is there that is not an issue afterwards we have to calculate the mass of this liquid how to measure the mass of the liquid this is a proper steps are there that steps you have to follow what are that steps see carefully first of all you have to take this empty density bottle and empty density bottle you have to measure here okay for example empty density bottle mass is m1 for example empty density bottle mass is m1 afterward you have to pour the liquid into it for example 25 ml liquid i have poured into it afterwards i have to clean all the sides of this density bottle also so that no extra mass will add here when i will put the liquid into this of 25 ml then i have to take the density bottle and i will put on the this like uh, electronic balance on this electronic balance i will put this density bottle and i will measure the mass now for example here mass came out as m2 for example m2 mass came out with filled with the liquid density bottle filled with liquid now what is the mass of this liquid for in order to measure the mass of this liquid i will subtract both i will do m2 minus m1 means first of all with the filled bottle whatsoever mass is there for example filled is 500 gram mass is 500 gram and empty mass is for example 10 gram for example okay so in order to measure the mass of this liquid i will use the formula m2 minus m1 means 500 gram minus 10 gram means mass of the liquid is 490 gram so like this way we will calculate mass also volume to we know only because density bottle is fixed volume so that is why by this way we can easily use a density bottle in order to measure the density of any liquid now we are having numerical problem related to density by uh, by this also you will calculate you will see that how we are going to use the density bottle also so empty beaker weighs 112 gram so mass of mass of empty beaker is given to us that is 112 gram when 100 ml of milk is poured into it 100 ml of milk means volume of milk is given so volume of milk is there 100 ml the mass of the beaker changes to this so mass of beaker mass of filled beaker so now mass of filled beaker is 215 gram okay empty is 112 gram but filled with liquid it is 215 gram we have to calculate the density of milk so density of milk means mass of milk over we have to check the volume of milk okay mass of milk is what mass of milk means whatsoever it is after pouring the milk into that minus what is the original empty beaker okay over we have to calculate the over we have to put the volume so uh, by using the subtraction formula what you will get here see carefully here you have to do subtraction one, 215 minus 112 so here you will get 103 by 100 so you will get 1.03 uh, so here you will get uh, gram per centimeter cube or gram per milliliter you can say because in one milliliter one centimeter cube are there 
fine in 1 milliliter 1 centimeter cube only there so it will be 100 centimeter cube so density of this milk is 1.03 gram per centimeter cube